Hey, this is Stephen Platinum, your friend in wrestling with Platinum versus AEW Dynamite. This is from January 12th, 2022. Um, uh, little, little cracks in the foundation here. Um, they obviously had to keep the crowd dark. Obviously not anything close to a sellout. Um, it was a very good show with some very awkward kind of moments and some uh, definitive screw-ups, which kind of threw off the rhythm of the show, in my opinion. And some stuff was just a little tad overdone, and when you overdo the steak, you kind of ruin it. Um, let's just jump into this. So Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish kicking off Dynamite. Um before they could really say anything, the Young Bucks and Brandon Cutler interrupt. Um, they remind Cole and company that AEW is their company and they're focused on regaining the tag titles. O'Reilly and Fish have that same goal. And suddenly, Orange Cassidy, Chuck Taylor, Trent, and Wheeler Utah hit the ring. Brawly, brawly, brawl, brawl. Um, the long and short of it is Chris Statlander confronts Cole, but gets taken out by Britt Baker. Interesting start to the show, really cool stuff, lots of stuff set up for Dynamite and future episodes. Um, good stuff. CM Punk Wardlow, this is one of those overcooked things. It was fantastic, um, and Punk was on his game, but man, I mean, I know it's a matter of personal conjecture, but that is a lot of power bombs and a power bomb through the table, and uh, I got the story that they told, don't get me wrong, and I love warrior and freaking macho man from <laughs> wrestlemania as much as anybody but man it did feel like a lot but well done well executed no doubt about that punk gets the win and uh, wardlow and mjf almost break up and sean spears saves it good deal dante martin against powerhouse habs um I, I won't know about doing this match back-to-back -back with CM Punk Wardlow. So you have two big, powerful guys who dominate the match and then get caught slipping. Um, that's basically the same story on both, but it was very good. Uh, where's Leo Rush been, by the way? Weird. Um, but, uh, you know, when Ricky Starks tried to help, out came Jay Lethal, so we're setting up more and more and more. Hangman Page talks about his next challenger. Um, but before that, sorry, um, God, look at my notes a little better. We had a confrontation between Chris Jericho and Eddie Kingston, um, with Santana Ortiz and Jake Hager excusing themselves and Le Champion teasing. He's going to kick Eddie Kingston's ass if he made an appearance during Sammy Guevara's interim TNT title defense against Daniel Garcia. Um, and then an enraged MJF said, next week, CM Punk will battle Sean Spears. <laughs> um, Hangman Adam Page hits the ring and uh, puts over him um, finally conquering Brian, Brian Danielson. He's looking for a new challenger. Dan Lambert comes and cuts a promo about how he's not a real cowboy. Lance Archer returns, stalks Lambert, but he turns on Page and he gives him the blackout through a chair. Mm -hmm. Hikaru Shida against Serena Deeb. Deeb um, attacks Hikaru Shida from behind, wiping her left knee out from underneath her with a kendo stick. And then she just focuses on that limb, focuses on that limb. Um, and uh, protecting Shida's well-being in the face of this assault. Which again, it just feels, I mean, they let Punk continue in spite of being like mashed to tomato paste and put through a table and... I, I just, I don't know, man. Like, again, these kind of details matter. This was very reminiscent of Dynamite from two years ago, where there would just be these, the same tropes happening and things that seem to contradict things that we had seen before. But uh, Deeb getting the win here by referee stoppage is a cool finish. It's just belied by what we had seen earlier in other matches. And Deeb looks like a killer, and uh, Sheeta... Put her over in a big bad way and if she's not going to be here for a while because she's going to japan well Sheeta, as usual is selfless and uh sacrifices for the good of the women's division penta el zero miedo against matt hardy fun match here really good interplay between the two um penta looking more and more every bit the star eventually beats hardy um but the real story is a three-on-one beating ensuing uh 
with uh, Varsity Blondes hitting the ring. Julia Hart implores the team to stop. Um, stop beating on Malachi Black. It's a little weird. The lights go dark when they come back on. Brody King is there and he destroys everyone and stands along Black, alongside Black. Interesting. Acclaimed against Bear Country. Um, standard stuff. Um, Bones and Caster get the win. And as they back up the ramp, here comes Sting and Darby Allen. They beat down the Young Stars. Scorpion Death Drop. We set up a match for one of the other shows. Um, then we had Sammy Guevara and Daniel Garcia. It's very good. Though you wish that go to sleep or go to hell at the end was more cleanly executed. But the match made sense. It was very, very good. Um, Sammy Guevara successfully defends. And then Jericho and Kingston clear the heels, but then they get to have another tense showdown betwixt the two. So very workmanlike dynamite that advanced a whole lot of stuff. 